Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today, you're going to do the vocabulary review sentences for Second Grade Journeys Lesson 16, and our anchor text is Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble. So for this lesson, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper, and you're going to write your numbers 1 to 16. So if you don't have your paper and pencil, make sure you get that. And your teacher might have given you this worksheet. If so, you can use this. It already has the numbers 1 through 16 on it. And you just need to pick the correct word that goes with each, each sentence. And we're going to do that together right now. So if you need to, push pause, get your materials, and when you're ready to join me, push play. All right, so let's review our vocabulary. You do not need to write them. We're just reading them out loud. A, received. B, budget. C, chuckled. D, repeated. E, account. F, disappointed. G, staring. And H, fund. So you don't need to write these yet. We were just reading them and reviewing them. Let's go over our learning target. I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand important words from the text. Success criteria. That means how will you know you're successful at using pictures and context clues to help you understand the important words from the text. Well, here are our steps to success for reading for reaching that goal. I will, number one, read each sentence or group of words. Number two, choose the best vocabulary word that fits each sentence. And three, write the correct word on my paper or whiteboard and you'll be checking it at the end of our lesson. But you still need to be keeping up. All right, here we go. Number one, number one, my brother blank when I told him a funny joke. My brother received when I told him a funny joke. My brother budget when I told him a funny joke. My, my brother chuckled when I told him a funny joke. Or my brother repeated when I told him a funny joke. So what makes sense given our picture clues and the context of where the word is in the sentence? Well, my brother chuckled when I told him a funny joke. Chuckled means to laugh quietly. My brother chuckled when I told him a funny joke. Chuckle is the root word C-H-U-C-K-L-E-D. Chuckle. Chuckled. That means it's in the past. My brother chuckled when I told him a funny joke. Number two, the students were blank when the field trip was canceled. So the students were account when the field trip was canceled. My students were disappointed when the field trip was canceled. My students were staring when the field trip was concert canceled. Or my students were fund when the, our, the field trip was canceled. What makes sense in the sentence, given our picture clues and where, they, where it is in the sentence? Well, my students were disappointed when the field trip was canceled. My students were disappointed when the field trip was canceled. So disappoint is the root word with meant disappointment. That's the add-on. Disappointment, D-I-S-A-P-P-O-I-N-T-E-D. -E disappointed. Number three, last week I had blank. I I blank five birthday cards in the mail. Last week, I received five birthday cards in the mail. Last week, I budget five birthday cards in the mail. Last week, I chuckled five birthday cards in the mail. And last week, I repeated five birthday cards in the mail. What makes sense given our picture clues and where they are in the sentence? Last week, I received five birthday cards in the mail. 
last week I received five birthday cards in the mail. Received R E C E I V E receive and with the D at the end, that's the past tense received. Number four, before leaving for vacation, I need to get money out of my blank. Before leaving for a vacation, I need to get money out of my account. I need to get money out of my disappointed. I need to get money out of my staring. Or I need to get money out of my fund. What makes most sense given our picture clues and where the word is in the sentence? Before leaving for vacation, I need to get money out of my account. A-C-C-O-U-N-T, account. A-C-C-O-U-N-T, account. Number five, my teacher blank the question when I did not hear him. My teacher received the question when I did not hear him. My teacher budget the question when I did not hear him. My teacher chuckled the question when I did not hear him, or my teacher repeated the question when I did not hear him. My teacher repeated the question when I did not hear him. Repeated, R-E-P-E-A-T-E-D. Repeated, the root word is repeat, R-E-P-E-A-T-E-D. Repeated. Number six, we had enough money in our field trip blank to go on another one. We had enough money in our field trip blank to go on another one. We had enough money in our field trip account. We had enough money in our field trip disappointed. We had enough money in our field trip staring, or we had enough money in our field trip fund. Fund. We had enough money in our field trip fund to go on another one. Fund. F-U-N-D. Fund. Number seven. Which word goes with plan and money? Which word goes with plan and money? Does received go with plan and money? Budget go with plan and money? Chuckled go with pl plan and money? Or repeated go with plan and money? Look at your picture clues and think about what means the same. Budget. Budget goes with plan and money. B-U-D-G-E-T. Budget. B-U-D-G-E-T. Budget goes with plan and money. Number eight. He was blank at the clock, wanting it to be three o'clock. He was a count at the clock, wanting it to be three o'clock. He was disappointed at the clock, wanting it to be three o'clock. He was staring at the clock, wanting it to be three o'clock. Or he was fund at the clock, wanting it to be three o'clock. What makes sense given our picture clues and where the word is in the sentence? Staring. He was staring at the clock. Wanting it to be three o'clock, staring, S-T-A-R-I-N-G, staring. He was staring at the clock, wanting it to be three o'clock, staring. Number nine, which word goes with laughed and giggled? Received, would received go with laughed and giggled? Budget go with laughed and giggled? Chuckled, go with laughed and giggled, or repeated, go with laughed and giggled. Chuckled. Chuckled goes with laughed and giggled. The chuckle means to laugh or giggle quietly. C-H-U-C-K-L-E-D, chuckled. Chuckled. Number 10, I made a bank blank. So I could try to save some money. I made a bank account. So I could try to save some money. I made a bank disappointed. So I could try to save some money. 
I made a bank staring so I could try to save some money, or I made a blank fund so I could try to save some money. What makes the most sense given our picture clues and where the word is in the sentence? Account. I made a bank account so I could try to save some money. Account. A-C-C-O-U-N-T. Account. A-C-C-O-U-N-T. I made an account, a bank account, so I could try to save some money. Number 11, which word goes with again and more than once? Which word goes with again and more than once? Would received go with again and more than once? Budget go with again and more than once? Chuckled go with again and more than once? Or repeated go with again and more than once? What makes sense given our picture clues and where the word is? Or this, what you think the synonym is. Repeated. Repeated means again and more than once. When you repeat something, you're saying it again or more than once. Repeated. R-E-P-E-A-T-E-D. Repeated. The root word is repeat with an E-D at the end. Repeated. Number 12, which word goes with delivered and accepted? Which word goes with delivered and accepted? Would it be received? Budget goes with delivered and accepted. Chuckled go with delivered and accepted. Or repeated go with delivered and accepted. Received, R-E-C-E-I-V-E-D. R-E-C-E-I-V-E-D. The root word is receive. And when you receive something, you accept it. And it's delivered to you. Received. Number 13. Which word goes with plan and money? Which word goes with plan and money? Would it be received, budget, chuckled, or repeated? Would received go with plan and money? Budget go with plan and money? Chuckled go with plan and money? Or repeated go with plan and money? Budget. Budget is a plan for money. B-U-D-G-E-T. Budget. B-U-D-G-E-T. Budget. Number 14, which word goes with collection and store up? Which word goes with collection and store up? Would it be account goes with collection and store up? Disappointed goes with collection and store up? Staring go with collection and store up? Or fun go with collection and store up? What makes sense given our picture clues and what we know about those words? Fund, F-U-N-D, fund goes with collection and store up because you collect money for a fund. You also store up money and put it into a fund. Fund, F-U-N-D. Number 15, what word goes with gazing and looking? What word goes with gazing and looking? Would it be account goes with gazing and looking? Disappointed goes with gazing and looking? Staring go with gazing and looking or fund go with gazing and looking. It is staring. Staring is to gaze or look for a long time. Staring, S-T-A-R-I-N-G. Staring, S-T-A-R-I-N-G. Staring. Number 16, which word goes with unhappy and sad? Which word goes with unhappy and sad? Which word goes with unhappy and sad? Would account go with unhappy and sad? Disappointed go with unhappy and sad? Staring go with unhappy and sad? Or fund go with unhappy and sad? What goes with those two words? Disappointed. D-I-S. 
A P P O I N T E D. Disappoint is the root word. Disappointed means you already happened in the past. Disappointed. D I S A P P O I N T E D. Disappointed. So it's time to check your work. Number one, chuckled. Number two, disappointed. Number three, received. Number four, account. Number five, repeated. Number six, fund. Number seven, budget. Number eight, staring. Number nine, chuckled. Number 10, account. Number 11, repeated. Number 12, received. Number 13, budget. Number 14, fund. Number 15, staring. Number 16, disappointed. If you need more time, push pause, make your changes or corrections, and when you're ready to join me, push play. Nice work, you've mastered your vocabulary words. Time to reflect on your learning target. I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand important new words. Would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I easily selected all the correct vocabulary words that fit each sentence. Would it be two? I, I mean three. I was able to select most of the correct vocabulary words that fit each sentence. Or would you give yourself a two? I was able to select some of the correct vocabulary words that fit each sentence. Or one. I was not able to select any of the correct vocabulary words that fit each sentence. How do you think you did? Four, three, two, or one? Write your reflection at the top. Thank you, boys and girls, for reviewing the vocabulary words and putting them into sentences or putting them with other words that mean the same. Have a great day.